Okay, so here are three things that I actually think are very useful about the Apple Watch. So the first thing that it's very useful for is unlocking devices. So for example, my laptop, I can just be wearing my Apple Watch and be close to my laptop. As soon as I open it, it will unlock itself. Now I've got a laptop that has Touch ID, so I don't really use this as much. I can just do my finger every time, which makes it easier. But when I had my old laptop that didn't have any Touch ID, having this Apple Watch was so much quicker to sign in because I had an insanely long password. Having an Apple Watch to unlock it automatically just because I was near it was so helpful. And also, it will unlock your phone if it recognises. So my phone's got a Face ID. If your phone recognises that you're wearing a mask, it will automatically look for your Apple Watch after that because it won't recognise your face. And if it sees that your Apple Watch is in close proximity, it knows it's you and it will unlock your phone, which I've also found really useful, particularly obviously during COVID. Now, the next one is sort of to do with exercise and you know various outdoor activities. Um, whichever Apple Watch you get, most of the new ones I think will have GPS. So mine's an Apple Watch SE and it has GPS tracking, which means that you can use it to track all of your events. And I find this particularly helpful because I love to be able to sort of look back on what I've done. Um, particularly the more interesting events like hockey, I can look exactly where I've run on a hockey pitch, see how far I've run, how fast I've run. More recently I went skiing and I was able to use it to track our entire route as well, which was really interesting. And the other additional benefit is that because it's got Bluetooth, you can use it to store all of your music for any run or activity and connect to your AirPods. The challenge with that is that my one does not have any kind of 3G, it's, it's purely uh, an SE, so it has to download uh, media from my phone. And I find that takes way too long and I kind of get annoyed and end up kind of taking my phone with me on a run anyway, like I did today. However, this is where it does come useful for work is that you can effectively, if your phone is in the building with you and close enough to your Apple Watch, you can use your Apple Watch as sort of like a remote. So if I'm trying to work, for example, I don't want to go near my phone to go on messages and stuff. My phone could be in a completely different room, but I can use my Apple Watch to start playing Spotify through my headphones, um, which I don't think that many people probably use it like that, but I find that helpful. It means that I don't have to have my phone in the room with me when I'm trying to work. So the third thing it's really good for, it's a bit more general, is paying for stuff. Now this has been particularly helpful because I always pay for stuff with my phone usually, but I'm trying to sort of do days where I won't be taking my phone everywhere with me because I don't want to be addicted to it. And the Apple Watch allows me to pay for stuff, even though it's an SE, it doesn't connect to the internet. It can still pay for things through contactless. And that's coming quite handy when I've been going for walks and I didn't want to bring my phone with me, but wanted to buy a coffee or something. And it, and it can pay for stuff itself. And that's been really, really helpful. So if I'm being kind of completely honest, I'm not sure the Apple Watch is really one of those essential Apple devices. I've gone over two other Apple devices, which is the AirPods and my MacBook Pro. Those two things are far more worth it for the money than an Apple Watch. The Apple Watch is quite fun. You know, you can do things like I can connect to my phone, I can look through the camera and take photos through it and all those kind of fancy things. Another useful thing that's a bit random is using it for a torch in the middle of the night when you need to go to the toilet and you don't want to you know, turn on a bright light, you can just turn your Apple Watch on and make it a torch. That's quite helpful. But as I said, I don't think it's, you know, the, the piece of tech you need to have uh, to optimize your life working and things like that. So I'd say, you know, if you don't need it, don't get it. It can be a bit more of a distraction, really. Anyway, um, I've kind of made this video because I think a lot of people seem to be quite interested in the um, sort of more technology videos. And I, I do want to try and keep the videos sort of specific to this topic area of working and resting. And technology is a, is a area that I'm really interested in. So I'm, I'm going to continue to talk about it. So I hope you found this video interesting and shows you a little bit about what I actually find helpful about the Apple Watch. Um, but anyway, as always, I'll see you in the next video.